Alright friends, I'm David D and this is PRM and today we're going to talk about Andrew Yang. Uh, has Andrew Yang pivoted on UBI? So Andrew Yang was just on Rebel Headquarters the other day and I did a video on it, on that interview um, but, I, but I left out something uh, that we need to talk about. Uh, there was some nuance in Andrew's rhetoric in his language concerning UBI that has me concerned and has other people concerned. And it, it's basically about the phase-in that he's talking about, how he wants to phase in UBI after he's president. But he talked about a trial period. And that is, like I said, that's some nuance I haven't heard yet. I haven't heard anything about a trial period of UBI. I've only heard Andrew Yang is going to implement UBI. It's free and clear. It's universal. But he's talking about, after he becomes president, a UBI trial period? Now, I haven't heard this yet. This is, this sounds like a pivot point. This sounds like nuanced rhetoric. As someone who follows Andrew Yang, and understand guys, like Andrew Yang's in my top three uh, out of 25 candidates or so. So I'm an Andrew Yang fan, so I'm not here arbitrarily criticizing him to just criticize him. Uh, I'm genuinely concerned because I like him. I like a lot of his policies. I like what he brings to the political dialogue, and I want him to do well. Uh, so when I hear this, when I hear Andrew Yang talk about a trial period, it has me concerned and it has other people concerned, like I said. Like, aren't we under the impression that President Yang is going to just implement UBI or he has to implement a trial period to see if UBI works? Maybe I'm getting this wrong. And if, I, if you believe I'm getting this wrong, leave a comment down, down below. And, uh, you know, let's talk about this because I genuinely care about this topic and I want to know more. I want to know if I'm leaving something out. But for the longest time, I have not heard anything about a trial period or the phase-in for that matter. So, and, and, you know, and this takes me back to a concern I had with Andrew Yang's Medicare for All stance. For the longest time, he's just been saying Medicare for All, okay? And that led me to believe Andrew Yang was for Medicare for All. Everybody covered, okay, there's no public option. Uh, with about, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, he started using the, the term public option in his Medicare for All rhetoric. And I'm like, okay, that's a pivot point that I haven't heard before. Uh, he's just been about Medicare for All. So I've heard a pivot point before, and I think I'm hearing a new pivot point again with UBI in saying there's going to be a trial period. I don't think there's going to, there, should be a, there shouldn't be a trial period. There, it should just be implemented. If President Yang happens, uh, UBI should happen, okay? No trial, no trial period. It should be worked out before. Um, so have we been misled here? Uh, am I getting this wrong? Is there nuanced uh, rhetoric here? You know, let's all, let's all put this together. Let's all team up down in the comments and figure this out because I'm just kind of like, you know, it gives me second thoughts. And, you know, like I said, I don't arbitrarily criticize Yang. Like I said, I like him. He's in my top three. Um, I want to know where he's at on these issues. And if I'm hearing nuanced rhetoric uh, that, that have potential pivot points, we got to discuss that. So, like I said, le leave me a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and click the bell on the side. Let's get, let's get going here.